Hello everyone. Today we look at the time value of money. You can get acquainted with the present value and the future value. As an introduction, let me ask you something. If you look at the next two possibilities, which one you do better with, which one would you choose? 1 million forints today, or the same amount one year later? You are probably saying that with 1 million forints you are doing better here and now than with the 1 million you will get in the future. After all, if you receive the money today you can invest it, and at the same time there can be a return, and on the other hand, it is appropriate to take inflation into account in the future money due at such times. If you have an imaginary bank that gives you 5% interest, then from today's 1 million there will already be 1 million 50,000. While if you only get 1 million next year, it will still only be 1 million. Before we move on, let's take a look at some of the markings you may come across elsewhere and that I will be using. The future value of your money is 1 million 50,000 forint, marked FV as future value. And your 1 million forint is the present value of your money. This is also commonly referred to as PV as present value and C as capital. R is the growth rate at which your money works. If you only see the rate and there is no other description for it, it indicates an annual rate. In this case, this means 5% per year. N is the period while your money is working. It is also usually given in years. In other sources it is marked as T as time. Suppose in this bank you want to work your money not only for one year but for five years. This way, you will receive your earned interest of 50,000 forints every year. What do you do when someone tells you to invest your money in his business, and he gives you 260,000 forints at the very end? Two things you may have understood so far. The first that the money you get today is worth more than if you only get the same tomorrow. The second, that you may have seen that it is precisely because of this discrepancy that you cannot directly add or subtract amounts of money coming at different times. Accordingly, if you want to get a good solution, you can't just subtract 5 times 50,000 forints from 260,000 forints. To be able to compare two investments, you need to put them at a common denominator. The most obvious solution to this is to convert them to a current value at a single point in time. You can also do this by looking at how much would worth a future amount of money today, or how much your money will be worth after a certain time. The first is the present value calculation, the second is the future value calculation. When calculating the present value, we will look at how much the 260,000 forints offered to you in 5 years would be worth today. To be able to compare with the 5 times 50,000 forints, let's also look at how much they would be worth today. Determining the present value of money is called discounting. The present value calculation also shows how much you would need to invest today at a given growth rate to achieve the desired result over a given period of time. You can calculate the present value calculation using this formula. Here, PV is the present value, the amount we're looking for right now. FV is known, after all, we know how much we will get after a certain amount of time. R is also known, here you can get a guaranteed interest rate of 5%. When it comes to returns, keep in mind that if the question is not the current simple comparison, but how much you need to invest in one investment or another, always use that investment's own growth rate. And N is the number of years. Since 260,000 forints consists of a single item, we start by discounting it. Here the future value is known, this is the amount that you do not yet have in your possession, but will be promised to you sometime later. This is 260,000 forints. The R here is now also 5%. The two are not always the same, the own growth of this investment is obviously not that 5%, but now we start from the premise that you could only put your money in this imaginary bank. If the only question is which amount is worth more in two moments of time, you can also use the inflation rate here. N is the number of years, here they told you that you would receive this 260,000 forints in 5 years. Substituting the known numbers into the formula gives the present value of the amount offered. This is 203,716 forints. In other words, in 5 years you would have the same 260,000 forints if you put this amount into this bank. You're not much ahead of that, for the answer you need to know if it's more or less than what you can get at the bank. 
That is why we are now looking at how the present values of 50,000 forints changes. Here you could easily say to the future value that if the bank gives 250,000 forints, then the future value will be 250,000 forints. But that's not how it works. Do you remember? You can't just add money coming in at a different time. This definition says nothing about who you got the money from. Therefore, we will perform the present value calculation 5 times here, and the future value will be 50,000 forints, but 5 times. The R is known because it was given by the bank. The N depends on which 50,000 items we are talking about. It will change according to how many years you receive the current amount. If we substitute this, the formula will look like this. Although we are talking here about money received at different times, the fractions all express the present value, so the discounted value, of the given amount. That is, we can add this up without further ado. Then you would have to invest 216,473 forints to receive the same amount at the same time. So you get a little more with this imaginary bank than with the other investment. If you use present value calculation to get how much you should invest in the end result of which option, the lowest amount would be good for you. Here, however, you are still investing the initial 1 million, here we have calculated how much the amount offered would be worth if you received it today. So at the moment you are doing better with a bigger amount. Let's look at the same with future value calculation. The future value calculation is practically nothing more than a compound interest calculation. You have already learned the formula for this in the section on interest calculation, knowing the notations does not hide too much novelty, it just arranges the formula for present value calculation according to the purpose. So you get the future value by multiplying the present value by the rate of growth. With this example, our situation is a bit more comfortable than with the present value, as the 260,000 forints will be offered to you in a lump sum in 5 years. Thus, its future value is guaranteed to be known without any calculation. Therefore, the only question is how much the 5 times 50,000 forint will be worth in 5 years. Here, also pay attention to the fact that we are not talking about 250,000 forints, but about 50,000 forints every year for 5 years. For the exponents, in calculating the present value, you looked at how many years your money could work until the date in question. Look at how many more years the money you have already received can work until the date in question. Since here we are looking at the future value of the entire cash flow in the fifth year, so the moment you also receive the last 50,000 items, the last amount you receive can no longer work for a single year. If we substitute numbers in the formula, it will look like this. The exponent of this will be zero. The interest you receive for the first time will be due at the end of the first year of the term, so it can still work for four years until the very end. The other exponents are written accordingly. As a result, the 5 times 50,000 forints that you can get at the bank correspond to 276,281 forints. In other words, it turned out that the 260,000 offer is more numerically, but you still don't do better with it. Finally, let's look at where you use it to calculate present value and future value. If you use it, you will be able to compare investment opportunities and you will be able to tell which one you are likely to do better with. Not only will you be able to compare investments, but even loans, or you can tell the value of the loan prepayment. Although it doesn't sound like much at half a year, its impact can add up in the long run. This will also help you see the effect of a relatively small change in interest rates. This can be especially important if you pay this interest to the bank. You can also use it when you have an amount of money waiting to be invested in which you can choose to buy a traditional investment or buy something on it, then by calculating the present value and the future value, you can tell how much price increase you are going to invest, and when you would rather buy some goods from it.